subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to be in touch. Don't bring that in. Oh, f Don't bring that in. Like that. You have some biggest fat baby with a producer. You have the biggest f***ing seller of fake f***ing billing goods. Really Talk about me. presenting yourself as something. I did myself as a fake seller of goods. Suck my f***ing you, uh, you, you left nothing and I have left suck everything. So suck, suck your which is probably your next Sorry. move because it's what Sorry. you Figure out what you have to offer as opposed to going out and getting your out. You're right, that's what I do. Well, yeah. Okay. London Fields is excellent. You're right. You're excellent right. Excellent choice. Back to that. Just when we thought that all of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's audio tapes during her marriage were shared with the public, another one has just been leaked. This new video proves that Amber Heard indeed had several affairs while she was married to Johnny Depp. Fans have quickly jumped in to call out Heard for lying. Just when you thought Amber couldn't look worse, this is absolutely terrible. The entire recording taken in context is so much worse because you see how hard he tried to de-escalate and end the fight and she refuses to leave and keeps goading him to fight with her. She is a psychopathic narcissist. Johnny was lucky to escape with his life, one fan wrote. She's saying the kind of stuff that can make a person finally snap and do something really, really bad. The fact that he has so much restraint in even just this one interaction tells me everything I need to know. She's a cruel, horrible person, another fan added. While a third fan wrote, I think she was purposefully tearing him down, pushing him to do drugs and drink until he went insane or died. She had a plan. She underestimated him. I also think that he had not other houses to go to. Her plan would have succeeded. So who did Amber have an affair with during her marriage to Depp? As it is already public knowledge, Amber allegedly cheated on Depp with Elon Musk for the longest time. For context, Amber and Musk met on the set of the 2013 Robert Rodriguez film Machete Kills, and according to sources, the two hit it off immediately, and that's when the cheating rumors first surfaced. Even though Musk insisted that the pair were nothing more than friends, nobody quite believed that since in 2015, photos of Amber Heard cuddling up to Elon Musk in the private elevator to Johnny Depp's penthouse were circulating the internet. In fact, Depp claimed in the defamation lawsuit that the two started their affair just one month after his marriage to Amber. Unbeknownst to Mr. Depp, no later than one month after his marriage to Ms. Heard, she was spending time in a new relationship with Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk, the legal documents read. Only one calendar month after Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard were married, while Mr. Depp was out of the country filming in March 2015, Eastern Columbia building personnel testified that Ms. Heard received Musk late at night at Mr. Depp's penthouse. Specifically, Ms. Heard asked staff at the Eastern Columbia building to give her friend Elon access to the building's parking garage and the penthouse elevator late at night, and they testified that they did so. Building staff would then see Ms. Heard's friend Elon leaving the building the next morning. Depp's attorneys also claimed in the lawsuit that Musk's first time at Depp's home with Heard was after the severed finger incident of March 2015 when Depp lost the tip of his finger. Depp claimed that Heard threw a vodka bottle at him, which severed his finger while Heard claimed that she wasn't awake at the time of the injury and that Depp assaulted her with the vodka bottle the same night. Musk's first appearance in Mr. Depp's penthouse occurred shortly after Ms. Heard threw a vodka bottle at Mr. Depp in Australia, when she learned that Mr. Depp wanted the couple to enter into a postnuptial agreement concerning assets in their marriage, the legal documents read. Ms. Heard's violently aimed projectile virtually severed Mr. Depp's middle finger on his right hand and shattered the bones. Mr. Depp's marriage to Ms. Heard came to an end in May 2016. Texts between Heard and Musk were also read aloud at a 2020 court hearing over Depp defamation case against Heard. In the texts, Heard told Musk that she wanted a restraining order against Depp for an alleged domestic violence incident the day before. Musk responded by offering her 24-7 security. The text continued to say, The offer would stand even if you never wanted to see me again. Anyway, sorry for being an idiot. The radio silence hurts a lot. It only matters because I really like you. 
At another court hearing in 2020, Josh Drew, the ex-husband of Heard's best friend, Brock Pennington, who also lived rent-free in a home owned by Deb, claimed that Heard had a threesome with Musk and Cara Delevingne when she was still married to Deb. Did she ever tell you in words or substance while Amber was still married to Johnny Depp that the three of them, Amber Heard, Elon Musk, and Cara Delevingne, spent the night together? Attorney Benjamin Chu asked, to which Drew responded, Yes, to the specific date, I can't say, Chu continued. So they were having a three-way affair, correct? Drew responded, My understanding, yes. Despite the testimonies given in court, a representative for Musk denied that he had a threesome with Delavine and Heard in a statement to page 6 of June 2020. Cara and I are friends, but we've never been intimate. She would confirm this, he said, then proceed to add, Also, I wish to confirm again that Amber and I only started going out about a month after her divorce filing. I don't think I was ever even in the vicinity of Amber during their marriage. Regarding this lawsuit, I would recommend that everyone involved bury the hatchet and move on. Life is too short for such extended negativity. Nobody is going to say, after it's all over, that they wish the court battle had lasted longer. In April 2022, a representative for Musk yet again denied Depp's claim that her cheated with him. In a statement at the time, Musk claimed that he and her didn't start dating until May 2016. The same month, Heard filed for divorce from Depp for irreconcilable differences. Elon and Amber didn't start seeing each other until May 2016, and even then, it was infrequent. The representative said in a statement, their relationship didn't become romantic until some time later. The statement came around the time Musk's attorney, Alex Spiro, told E! News that the Tesla founder, who was listed as a potential witness for Heard in pre-trial filings for the case, would not be testifying at Heard and Depp's trial. Heard and Musk started dating publicly in July 2016 after they were first seen together at the Delano South Beach in Miami, Florida. Elon is attracted to her edginess. She isn't frightened about being different, a source told People in 2016, adding, she doesn't get easily intimidated. She's very focused and loves to learn. The two later split for the first time in August 2017 after less than a year of dating due to their busy schedules. They had fun for a few months, but are both very busy with work now. It was getting hard to find time to see each other, an insider told People at the time, adding that Musk initiated the split. Elon's working day and night. This is his life and he loves it. He's in no position to be in a relationship right now and ended it. However, Heard and Musk reunited five months later before ending their relationship a second time in February 2018 due to Heard wanting independence. Amber wants her independence and prefers being friends rather than romantically linked, a source told Us Weekly at the time. Another insider added, Elon decided it was time to end things, and Amber agreed. They both care for one another, but the timing just isn't right. It might come as a surprise to some, but Elon wasn't the only person Heard was involved with during her marriage to Depp. During their defamation trial in May of 2022, Heard also claimed that Depp accused her of cheating with James Franco. Franco and Heard starred together Pineapple Express and the Adderall Diaries, which she filmed while she was still married to Depp. He was mad at me for taking a job with James Franco, Heard said of Depp's reaction to her and Franco, calling the time of their relationship a nightmare. He hated, hated James Franco and was already accusing me of having a secret thing with him in my past because we had done Pineapple Express together. In addition to this, Depp also accused Amber of cheating on him with Eddie Redmayne, whom she starred in 2015's The Danish Girl With. Amber talked about these allegations during the defamation trial, saying, We communicated pretty consistently, and it was positive until it started to change. I got the sense that he thought I was sleeping with the director, Tom Hooper, and then it was with the actor I was filming with. Heard, who referred to Redmayne as lovely and a gentleman, denied that she had an affair with either Hooper or Redmayne. Months after Johnny won the defamation trial, the situation between Amber and him seems to be escalating, and it actually seems that we might be in for an appeal of the trial by Amber. But now we would love to hear from you. Do you believe Amber cheated on Depp? And if so, what was the reason for her affairs? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching! 2009, you were arrested for domestic violence uh, committed against Tasha Van Ray. Asked and answered. Is that what you just talked you about? Did I miss something? Isn't Sorry. it a fact, Miss Heard, that on September 14th, you were in fact taken to jail? It wasn't dropped immediately. Same objections, Vegas. Same objections. 
Isn't it a fact, Ms. Hurd, that you spent the night in jail from September, 20, September 14th to September 15th, 2009, as a result of your arrest for domestic violence? Same objections. It's irrelevant. Is that true? 352. She's already answered what happened. Is that Vague. true? It's Can argumentative. It's harassing. You just want to, you know, get your harassment in. Go uh, on. Let the record reflect Mr. I Carter's directing her not to answer. Did you spend the night in jail? Yes. I, never, I never said don't answer. I never the said that. Is about to That's not deny. my fault. Yes, because she keeps cutting me off every time I Why say something. Yelling? There's no need to yell, Mr. Hart. Well, I have to be heard. Everyone's talking over me. You've got a whole wall of lawyers over Ms. there who are talking over me. May I continue? Ms. Can Ms. I Hurt. say something? Ms. Ms. Hurd, Ms. Hurd, isn't it a fact that Tasha Van Ray on September 14th, 2009, claimed to the police that you would hit her arm? Same objection. No? I don't know anything about this. Answer how give a full answer please i don't know anything about the claim that you just made about what tasha said or did not say i can't possibly know that i know nothing about what you just said isn't it a fact that on september 14th you hit tasha van ray in her arm no isn't it a fact